Hey Facebook friends and YouTube, I'm going to make a video today about humility and this is an extremely important topic because pride ultimately is at the root of all sin. So if we want to not struggle with sin as much, we need to be humble. So let's see. What does the Bible have to say about humility? Blessed are the meek, for they, for they will inherit the earth. My roommate in college, um, Janelle, she was very meek, I would say. If there was like one word, adjective that defined her, she was very meek. And I always really admired that about her. And I always wanted to be like that. Because I think I know that I've always kind of struggled with pride. Because I was always a straight-A student. And I was a pretty good basketball player. And I've always been a good singer. And I've always been pretty good in my walk with God. Or pretty close to God. So anyways, but all those are good things, but not if they make you prideful and they turn you into a not good person, like an ugly person. But, um, and then one passage that I've always liked regarding pride is Paul says, um, gosh, I think it's in Philippians, but whatever is to my profit, I now consider loss for the sake of Christ. What is more, I consider everything a loss compared to the surpassing greatness of knowing Jesus Christ, my Lord, for whose sake I have lost all things. I consider them rubbish that I may gain Christ and be found in him, not having a righteousness of my own that comes from the law, but that which is through faith in Christ. I want to know him in the power. I want to know him in the power of his resurrection, becoming like him in his suffering so that somehow I might attain to the resurrection of the dead. So anyways, that is an awesome passage and that is talking about, you know, anything that we consider our profit in this life, like money or success or talents or skills or what job we have or the house that we live in, any of that should be considered rubbish or trash compared to knowing Jesus. Like, I mean, we should value things. We don't need to be like, you know, like I've always been kind of like just throwing stuff away because I don't value stuff. But we should value stuff. But ultimately, we should, in comparison, we should consider anything we've accomplished or anything that we own, any person that we know or any status that we have or anything like that, we should consider it to be trash compared to knowing Jesus. Because that is the ultimate goal of life is to know Jesus and to make other people know him. I mean, that's really the reason why God keeps us alive, you know. I've had a few near-death experiences uh, quite a few, and I think that God has kept me alive because he knew that I would do something like this someday, which I hope that this is really making a difference and saving people, getting people to know God. But, well, one time I was, well, two times I almost died in the ocean, boogie boarding. And another time I fell off of a high dive when I was a kid. And another time my appendix exploded and I had to have it removed and I almost died. I would have died like the next day. And then recently after my second daughter, I had like really bad gallstones and I felt like I was going to die. I think that that could have killed me, but I um, went to the ER and got my gallbladder taken out, praise God. So, and I don't really have issues now. So if you're having gallstone pain, you should get your gallbladder taken out. Okay, so anyways, back to humility. All right, here's another really good passage about this. Matthew 18, 1 through 4. The disciples came to Jesus and asked, Who is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven? He called the little child and had him stand among them. And he said, I tell you the truth, unless you change and become like little children, you will never enter the kingdom of heaven. Therefore, whoever humbles himself like this child is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven. Yep. Childlike faith. And I've always like worked with kids like ever since I was 14. So literally like 20 years <laughs> I've been doing jobs with kids, which... I might do another one this summer. My mom's encouraging me to be a summer camp counselor if she wants to babysit my girls. <laughs> I'll do it. But um, yeah, so a lot of my jobs have been with kids and I think I've learned a lot from kids that they are very simple and very humble and they don't expect too much and they're happy with just like a little thing. Like I remember when my daughter Serenity was like one, we would go on road trips from Odessa, Texas to Austin. It was about six hours. And I would literally just give her like a receipt paper or like a wrapper, just like random piece of paper. And she would just play with that. And she was just happy just playing with that, you know, when she was like one. And I was like, wow, like kids are so simple. 
<laughs> like they really are and they're just easily happy I mean sometimes they can be easily grumpy too but so you know it's like that like kids are just like happy with just the smallest little thing like those little toys and happy meals and they're like 50 cents you know but then us adults were like oh you know I gotta have this this and that to be happy and then we're still not happy so we can learn a lot from children I think that's the main thing is that gratitude you know kids have a lot more gratitude than adults they get excited about things they're like excited about life you know excited about like birds and bugs and <laughs> all kinds of random stuff so I think that's what God means is like gratitude and humility and just being easily yeah grateful for things and so if you can be like that then you can be great in the kingdom of heaven godliness with contentment is great gain for we brought nothing into the world and we can take nothing out of it amen praise God all right second chronicles seven fourteen. God told Solomon if my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways. Then will I hear from heaven and will forgive their sins and will heal their land. Yeah. Turn from their wicked ways. And in order to do that, someone has to be humble and admit that their ways are wicked. And I guess I'll just say I haven't been perfect. We've been having some crazy family drama, work drama, money drama, like every drama in every single category of our life right now which that one passage really applies to us. You know, we are struck down, but not destroyed. We are hard pressed on every side, but not crushed. And that's so us right now. But anyways, but then, yeah, like when Satan attacks you, you don't want to become like Satan, obviously, you know, overcome evil with good, not evil with evil. And so when people have been attacking me, then I've been attacking right back sometimes. So Anyways, pray for me about that, that I'll be nice to people and that I will overcome evil with good. Amen. Praise God. Because I can, because I I have the Holy Spirit and I can do it. <laughs> and all of them can do it too. So if you're watching this video, overcome evil with good. Okay. All right. Numbers 12, 3. Moses was a very humble man, more humble than anyone else on the face of the earth. Oh, that's interesting. I don't think I've ever really noticed that verse before. So Moses was very humble. I think I've heard several times that he like he had a stuttering problem and that's why he was like, God, why would you pick me? Like, why can't you send somebody else to save the Israelites with the burning bush uh, encounter? But um, so that probably made him humble. And for sure, like if we have something wrong that can make us humble, um, like me, I have crooked teeth, <laughs> which kind of keeps me humble, I guess, because it's like, that's and I have glasses, which I've always been insecure about that. But maybe God did that for a reason to keep me humble. You know, maybe if my teeth were perfectly straight and I didn't have glasses, I would be I wouldn't be doing what I'm doing. I probably wouldn't be because people who look perfect are so full of themselves and in love with themselves. And they have no room in their hearts to love God because they're like narcissistic and infatuated with themselves. So be careful of that, obviously. Psalm 18, 27. Well, another thought on that. Any features that you have that are good features, obviously, were just from God. It's not like you did anything to earn them. Like, you know, say you do have nice eyes or nice hair or whatever. That's just because God gave it to you. So there, there's no reason to get arrogant about that. Amen? Amen. You, O oh Lord, save the humble, but bring low those who are whose eyes are haughty. Yeah. And another verse in James says, God opposes the proud. But gives grace to the humble. So you got to watch out for that. God will bring low those whose eyes are haughty. So if there's anything that you're being haughty about or prideful or arrogant, check yourself. Check yourself before you wreck yourself. <laughs> like for real. But that is true. That's kind of almost like a word from God. You got to check yourself before you wreck yourself. Because, you know, when you get all like arrogant and prideful and you're like, I got this, then you don't. And you're about to fall into a hole. And you just can't be that prideful. So watch out for pride. And I will close this video by praying. Dear God, I pray for anyone watching this that they will be humble. That they'll seek you in, in so that they can have the ability to be humble. Help us to, God, strip away our pride from us. Help us to lay down at your feet and bow down at your feet. And I pray that that would be our posture throughout the day, every day, 24-7. 
that we would have that posture towards you, that we are bowing down at your feet, that we don't deserve anything from you. But if you do give us anything, that we will be thankful and grateful, God. Thank you for everything that you do give us and all the blessings that you do give us. Help us to not take them for granted. Help them, help, help us to be content with what we have and to not feel like we deserve more, we need more. And help us to stay humble so we can get along with people in our lives and be peaceful. And to not be easily offended because that is the main cause of fights and quarrels. So God help us to stay humble and to not think of ourselves more highly than we ought to. And you say amen. May God bless you all. I pray that this helps someone. Share this video if you liked it. And if you're seeing this on YouTube, subscribe because, I don't know, that would just be cool if I had more subscribers. <laughs> all right. And if you're on Facebook, um, you should totally watch this video with like somebody that you know. <laughs> because I hope to reach as many people as possible. Yeah. So, God loves you all. Have a great day. Bye.